Hello everyone. Here I'm going to demonstrate how to use Panda Pulse Repeater Field. After you have Pulse Framework and the Repeater Field ready, please go to Pulse Admin and go to Components. We're going to enable two components. One is Advanced Content Types, and the other one is Table Storage. Then we're going to create a, a new post type. And we're going to call it project. Right. You can choose um, two storage type. One's meta based, one's table based. My preference is always table based. Right, here we're going to add a new field, a new um, repeater field. Um, the repeater field will be tasks because um, in each project we're, we're having a lot of tasks. Okay. So, but before that, we need to create um, a table for the repeater field. So we go to create new. Um, Choose advanced content type. Right, we'll call task. task. Yes. Okay. So, as a field, we don't really need these four actually. So, you can delete them. Doesn't need to appear on the menu bar as well. So turn that off. Right, now let's go back to the project port. Okay, we'll add a field task. Um, we will pick. We we'll pick. Um, Pause table as repeater field. Uh, and pick the pause table. Um, we only have tasks here. Okay. Um, there are other options, other fields you can fill in, or other options you can choose. Um, and this time we just keep it simple. I will explain these fields later. Go to project, add a new one. Um, first project uh, will be a website. Okay, here you see it says please say the parent first to add tasks because um, we need to pass the ID, the parent's ID over to um, to the field. So um, we need to. Save it first, so publish. Okay, now I can add tasks against that project. So, what do we do when building a website? Um, first, we need to design the website. So, design. Then after the design, we need coders to build the website. So second task, coding. And then after coding, we need to test the website. Testing. Okay. Later on, you will see that I need members to work on the tasks, and each task 
will have a few members to work on it. So here you will need a member a member field. So let's go back to pass admin and add a new one. So we we'll create a, a advanced content type called member. Again, we don't really need this. And we're going to break down the tasks. We don't need it to appear on the menu bar. Okay, now we'll go back to now we got member and um, it's um, a nested repeater field. So we we'll go going to edit tasks. And the new one called Members. Right, okay, member the table. Um, we have two fields in the in the members table. You may like to change the field width. You can choose who is one hundred percent, or fifty percent, or twenty five percent. We have two fields, so we choose 50% date field set port. Okay, let's go back to the project. And if we open it, like the design, you will see that's a nested repeater field for the members. You open it, and it's displayed pretty. 50%. So for the design, you have um, a designer called Fill. Fill is going to work on the home page. And then you have another designer called Edit. Edit is going to work on the About Us page. You can add many more. Okay, so you can see this is the repeater field, um, the nested repeater field. So you have a project called website, a website, and then you you give the task to that project, and then in each task you have members to work on those on that task. Next. I'm going to show you how to pull out data at the front end. Open your editor, create um, a template for the project post time. We're going to borrow the code from the page. Don't need this. And um, to pull out the data, we can simply use pods field. The, the field, we, the, the first repeater field we created was called task. Just 
do something to make it easier to read. Okay, go back to the back end and then we'll build the project. See? The data is got pulled out. So in the website project we have three tasks design, coding, testing. And in the design task we have two members, CO and Lily. Okay, so that's the basic use of Panda Pass Repeater Field. Thanks for watching and thanks for Pass Framework.